When I first started my candle collection, one of the main places I got great candle accessories from was Amazon. Till this day, I actually still get a lot of my accessories from there that I swear by. So if you're just starting out a collection or you're just looking for something that's more affordable that gets the job done, these accessories I'm about to tell you about from Amazon will be a perfect starting point. Now, not all accessories from Amazon are particularly good in my opinion. Like their candle holders for example, I have yet to find any that looks appealing to me. I would recommend just making that investment into your home decor with some really high quality candle holders that are well made and will make a statement in your space. The accessories that I do use from Amazon, however, are more of a need than anything else. These are those accessories that gives you that comfort feeling by knowing that you have something that will make life a little easier. Prime example is having a proper wick set to help maintain the wick or the wicks of a candle. Without a question, this should be one of the very first things to pick up for candle maintenance. This particular set I've been using comes in a set of three. Now, this next part is very important. So it comes with a wick trimmer and a wick snuffer, but the one tool I absolutely needed and I recommend to anyone interested in a wick set is to make sure it includes a wick dipper. It's probably my all time favorite candle tool to use because it has multiple uses. It puts the candle out without causing any smoke whatsoever. You simply dip the wick in the wax to put the candle out. Pretty straightforward. And the wax coat the wick to act sort of like a primer for the next time you go to light the candle. The second use for the dipper, or heck if you want to call it that. You can also use it to recenter the wick if you notice that it's a little off center, which happens sometimes. When the wax turns to liquid, the wick will not always stay in the middle. Don't worry, it's a normal occurrence. Keeping the wick in the middle of the vessel will ensure an even burn. If it's off to one side, then a couple of things can happen. One side of the vessel can become extremely hot. The wax will burn uneven, of course. And something I don't like dealing with at all is tunneling. I try to avoid tunneling at all costs. If that wick isn't burning correctly, the other side of the wax isn't melting, so it will look unsightly to say the least. The wick dipper, my friends, can prevent all of this with just regular wick maintenance. The snuffer isn't terrible, I don't want to send the wrong message. The snuffer was originally created for taper candles and is the traditional way of putting out a candle. It just causes too much smoke and I didn't burn my expensive candle for 2-3 to three hours just to smell smoke after putting it out. The dipper is my favorite tool for wicks. The only thing it can't do is cut the wick and that's where a wick trimmer comes in. Now you want to make sure the wick is cut to one fourth of an inch before every burn, no exceptions. It doesn't have to be precisely cut to one fourth of an inch, just a tip. If the wick is too long or wasn't cut before burning, I can almost guarantee you that it'll cause soot with an elongated flame that will in turn cause a severe mushroom effect of carbon on top of the wick. I also wouldn't recommend cutting it right after putting out the candle. It'll just make it more difficult dealing with melted wax and a hot wick. Just cut it next time before lighting, it'll be fine. Could you use fingernail clippers or scissors to cut the wick and could you just blow out the candle? Yes, of course. I get those comments all the time, and I say all the time, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it correct the first time to prevent any mishaps. I'm also not using fingernail clippers or breathing on a candle either. Just get yourself a good wick maintenance set to start things off. This set also has 12 month product support, so if you have any issues, you can just shoot them over an email. I haven't had any issues in the past couple of years, so I'm happy about that. It also comes in a couple of colors. Black is what I have. There's copper and silver as well. I'm usually a silver guy, but I went for black instead. This set costs about $20 but Amazon always has sales so it may be on sale by the time you see this video. This turned into a mini lesson on wick maintenance I see. But I get excited talking about these things because not everyone is aware of these different types of tools that can help with candles. The more people I can help, the better it makes me feel. I will also have links to everything that I mentioned in the description. So you have your wick set to help maintain the wick of the candle but what do I even use to light the candles in the first place? Well, there are two ways I light my candles. One is using matches and the other is using an electric lighter. Both serve different purposes and experiences for me personally. Using matches has this unique experience to it. It is the more traditional way of lighting a candle, but there is just something about striking a match that makes it feel special. It's like the preparation for something great. I don't know, it's just my way of thinking about it. I picked up the Benevolence Decorative Long Match Candles for around $15 on Amazon. Or you could go with the beautiful glass cloche of matches I found as well. I was thinking about getting that one, but since I already have something similar to it, I figured I didn't need it. This benevolence jar of matches does just fine for everyday use. The striker is also on the bottom of the jar and doesn't wear down easily, and the cork top is what you'll find in most match jars or cloches. It serves its purpose as something I reach for daily that's affordable, and that's what I need it for. If you prefer matches, you'll enjoy these. The only downfall with using matches is that initial smoke smell when you strike it. 
I find it really unpleasant. Now, when I want something quick and smokeless, oh, I'm reaching for my electric lighter every time. I mentioned this electric lighter a few times in prior videos and it's still going strong. Of course it has some scratches and bruises over the years, but it's an accessory I highly recommend. This electric lighter is always on sale as well, so you can probably find a good deal on it. I paid about $25 for it, but I recently seen it for less than $15. I'd hate when that happens, but as long as someone is taking advantage of it. The electric lighter is a staple. Like I said, it doesn't cause any smoke and it lights the candle in under a second. I haven't actually timed it, but it's a very quick process. This one also has a child safety lock, so you have to turn it on from the bottom in order to use it. And it usually lasts me a few months in between charging. I love this electric lighter. This next accessory isn't for candles, but it's for the people who love diffusers, and that's making sure you have extra reeds for your reed diffusers. This is something that's often overlooked. Some people aren't aware that you can even buy extra reeds. They get their diffuser and think the reeds that it comes with will last for the life of the diffuser, but it will not happen. You get that amazing scent at first, but eventually the scent will fade, and you may be thinking that it's the diffuser itself, but in reality, it's the reeds that are clogged and need replacing. My rule is when the scent fades after I flip them once, then it's time for some new reeds. I get these packs of 100 rattan reeds on Amazon and they work as needed. Just make sure they're rattan and not some other type of wood that's a part to what actually works. Since they come in a pack of 100, they last for a very long time and you can use however many you want. I mean, just a few is fine. Don't get carried away and stuff the diffuser. What I like about these is that they come in different colors as well. I keep a pack of regular rattan reeds and a pack of black for diffuser users from brands like Joe Malone and Diptyque. There's also a nice brown color as well, which is always sold out when I go to buy them, unfortunately. Reeds are very inexpensive. I paid around $6 for a pack of 100 and even better if you catch them on sale. If you have diffusers, you will 100% of the time need to replace the reeds at some point, even if you switch out diffusers off and on, which is what I do often. Whether you have a candle, reed diffuser, or candle holders, they'll be sitting on some kind of surface like a desk, kitchen counter, or coffee table. Whatever your decor style is, you may want to dress up the surrounding area with a staple decor item like coffee table books. Oh, gotta love those coffee table books. But this is the thing, I recommend utilizing coffee table books that speaks to who you are as a person. It'll ultimately give your space more character. The Tom Ford book, for example, is very nice, but if you care nothing about fashion, or Tom Ford for that matter, then why spend over $100 for a book just to say you have it? Everyone has it. If you like art, find books on your favorite artists that you can display. If you like animals, there are plenty of animal books that can fit in with your decor style and most importantly, who you are as a person. No need for those cookie cutter coffee table books. Get what you enjoy looking at. Having different coffee table books around candles elevates your space to the next level with scents and visuals. I have quite a few books on various subjects from Frida Kylo to Alexander McQueen to Lamborghini. Things that just speak to me as an individual. If you're into these type of books as well, I will have them linked in the description for you. Another item that would be a fantastic addition to your space is using some sort of coaster to put your candles on. Luckily, coaster sets on Amazon are plentiful. So many options to choose from. Marble is very popular. There's different types of wood, metals, concrete, and cork, which is the most common. You can basically use the same coasters you use for drinks. If you're purchasing coasters to specifically use for candles, and you eventually want to use them for drinks, just make sure the coasters are absorbent to avoid any liquid soaking through them, causing damage to the surface. But in this case, we're solely going by aesthetics for candle accessories and to protect the surface from any heat damage. I have a few different styles of coasters, but my most recent pickup from Amazon were these rustic stone coasters that come in a set of eight. When selecting coasters for the candles in my collection, I don't want to buy them just to buy them. My process when I see some nice looking coasters is to ask myself, what candles could I use them for and will they fit in with my style? With these beautiful stone coasters, I was attracted to the dark characteristic of them and thought they would be perfect for the candles in my collection with a dark or black vessel. White vessels could work as well to contrast nicely against them. I have this same thought process for the lighter coasters as well. Is it doing too much? Well, I don't know because I don't ask myself those type of questions. Compared to other sets from high-end retailers, this set from Amazon it holds up really well. I did notice that it holds on to fingerprints really well, so it may not be the best for drinks, but aesthetically for candles, they are ideal. And for the price, I'm not complaining. For around $15 for a set of eight, 
they are very affordable compared to high-end retailers like CB2 and West Elm that charges double the price for just a few. This next accessory isn't for candles, but I just have to add it in because it's very important for my incense lovers. And that's getting yourself an incense bowl or holder. Doesn't have to be anything special, you just need something to catch the ash while the incense is burning. I burn incense every single morning. It's what I do automatically after waking up. I'm quite fond of Japanese incense, so that's what I'm usually reaching for as soon as I wake up. Depending on the type of incense, I have a couple types of incense holders from Amazon that I use. I had this structural incense holder for a very long time now. A few years for sure. This sees heavy use with my Japanese incense as it has different size holes to easily fit various size of incense. I got it for around $10, not expensive at all, and it's holding up perfect with the use I put it through. My most recent pickup is the ceramic incense bowl that I mainly use when I'm in the mood for Indian incense or different types of road incense. I needed a bowl because road incense are usually way too long for the other holder. The ash would be all over the place and I didn't want that. They typically have the core exposed at the bottom as well, so it doesn't burn all the way to the bottom which will make it quite difficult to get out the bowl. I learned the hard way. This one I also paid around $10 for. Some sort of incense holder is a necessity for burning different kinds of incense, especially if you're burning them on a daily basis. This last candle accessory is another one of my all-time favorite things to use, and that's the elegance of using a glass candle cloche. It's one of my favorite accessories because it serves multiple purposes. One, it adds this sophisticated element to a candle and to my space. It fits in with any decor style in my opinion, since most of the time they are just this clear glass dome. And two, it's another smokeless way to put out a candle. Just sit it over a burning candle and a flame will eventually put itself out. There will be smoke inside the cloche after the candle is put out, so after about a minute, I take it off to get the rest of that scent from the hot throw while the wax cools. Glass cloches come in so many sizes. There are a few brands that offer specific cloches that fit perfectly with their candles like Diptyque and Cire du Dawn, but they're going to cost you over $100. I picked up this glass cloche from Amazon for $30 and it's big enough to fit candles of different sizes, up to the large Lafco size candles. I call that a win-win, affordable with multiple uses. I do wish it was a little smaller. This cloche is 6 by 10 inches, but it works perfectly for what I'm using it for. Glass cloches has been around forever and I'm glad I still have access to them. They are a timeless accessory. All of these accessories from Amazon are great tools to help make using different types of home fragrances easier. And yes, they are definitely a necessity for anyone looking for things to help maintain the upkeep of these precious scents.